Hey Tersh and welcome welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally going to be doing another drawing your original characters video. If you guys don't know already, original characters can also mean OCs, which is what I'm going to be referring to them as in this video. And first off, I just want to apologize. Um, it's been a hot minute since my last original like drawing your original characters video that I've done on my channel. And I know when I did my last video, I was like saying to myself, I was like, oh yeah, like I'm definitely gonna make this like a more common thing. I'm gonna be doing like monthly or like bi-monthly like girl i was like ready to get down and do it um but then i don't even know what happened like i just forgot about the series like i don't even know and i think it's also kind of like a thing where after every video like i get always get a surge in submissions but then after that like maybe after a week or two it like dies down by that time i forget about it and i can't film another video without remembering so someone in the comments hold me accountable because i definitely want to make this like a bi-monthly thing at least just because i've been getting so many submissions recently and i feel bad about missing people's because you guys send me like your beautiful ocs and i have such a hard time picking them every time um but i have picked two original characters for this video i know sometimes i do make like different drawings on different pages for each of the characters or sometimes i combine them in this video i ended up making like these two bust um drawings using my alcohol markers in my sketchbook for both of the characters individually just because i don't know i wanted to i felt like it both of them are really cute and also i didn't feel like getting an anatomy study and trying to figure all that out for a full body pose so this is what we're getting so starting off the first character that i'm going to be drawing is none other than esmere day um i hope i'm pronouncing that right but i will be talking more about the characters individually after i finish the line art and when i head on to coloring um but she was sent to me by joshita and the second character i'm lining which you'll see now was sent to me by olivia and her name is liv and like i said before i will be talking about them individually individually later as always thank you guys so much for all the original character submissions this was actually sent before i made like that community post asking you guys for oc submissions i will be doing another drawing your ocs video but if i forget someone hold me accountable in the comments literally yell at me until i do it because i can take it that's the only way that i'm gonna remember um i got so many amazing submissions though so thank you for all that i'm looking forward to the next one and i already have like like a couple picked out i wish i could do these like more though like i really want to draw everyone's original characters because some of them are like actually insane with how much detail you've gone into for like either their backstory or, like the design and like i don't know it's just crazy i love like seeing other people's ocs because the amount of like creativity that you guys have about your like not even just designs but like also some people include like their full oc backstory and like their likes and dislikes and like all that stuff it's like so crazy how creative some of you guys are like it's i don't know i have a lot of fun like going through all the submissions and reading through it so even if you don't get picked just know that i did see your design and hopefully you will be picked in the next one i'm gonna try my best to like draw all the recent ones that got sent to me anyways now we are moving on to coloring as always i'm going to be using my holy grail the alcohol markers and they are from uhuhu by the way the sketchbook is also the uhuhu oh, alcohol markers sketchbook um so the colors do appear like a bit darker at first but then they lighten up later on so it, it looks a bit funky right now but i promise it will look better in the end um but anyways the first character that we are coloring, like I said before, was sent to me by Joshita, and this is her OC, Esmeray Day. And according to her, she is the princess of a land called Tasuki, and she is 16 to 17 years old. Apparently, they haven't decided yet, which is so real. I can't decide the age for any of my OCs. I just know that they're like somewhere in their late teenage years, and that's about it. Um, that's about all the details that she has for this one, and here is the reference sheet that she sent me. I love this OC bro, she literally looks gorgeous. I think what drew me to her was definitely like her hair because it's like this black color but also it has like blue highlights which I love adding like random highlight colors to my black haired characters because it just makes them pop so much more. Um, but yeah, as you can see she does also have like various clothing designs. I decided to pick the one on the right side just because I thought it was pretty cute, you know, little bows for like the shoulder straps and then also I think it matched like the earrings pretty well but I also do love her other designs as well. By the way, feel free to send me like multiple references of your original characters, like I'll like filter through them and like pick my favorite outfit or whatever. I think it's like so cute though. Um, oh, by the way, I think either last week's video or the one after this will be one where I'm designing like outfits for my original characters. I haven't exactly decided like the order that I'm going to release all these videos in um, because this is the third video of all the ones that i have filmed in advance while i am traveling and hopefully i do actually manage to like get them up in time and edit and everything i think i'll be able to though because the only thing that i have to do while i'm like still home is like do the voiceovers because i can't exactly do that over there 
starting off we do the skin as usual i don't think my skin routine has changed for like as long as i've had alcohol markers i always go in with like a pale peach color and then pink for the skin and then i usually do some purple for the shadows and then finally i added some blue accents for this one just because i thought that would look really cute since it would match with like the blue highlights in her hair that kind of like bounce off in a way and i don't know i thought i'd just pull the colors together and now we start with the hair which was by far probably the easiest part or like not, not easiest it was like the hardest part to do physically but also it was my favorite part to do because i love seeing like the speed paint of it coming together um as you can see i picked out like a bunch of colors i picked out like a black a gray um like a darker blue and then like a lighter blue for the highlights and then basically after that it was just blend 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 I have to say using alcohol markers to like do this entire process made it my life so much easier i feel like blending with them is just so easy and i've gotten very used to it so it didn't make the process go faster but this did take a while i actually did have to film like the second clip of me doing this in time lapse just so it wouldn't take up as much storage which is why like the quality is a little bit fuzzy or like i don't know it's like a little bit weird in a way you'll see when it comes up um but yeah basically what i was doing was just alternating between these and then making sure that i still like the marker ink on the page was still like wet when i went back to blend in the other color and then i just connected both of them and that is the first section done i did kind of split into sections and by the way this is the time lapse clip which is kind of why it's fuzzy um but i think blending them in sections definitely helped me a lot because i found that like if you shade while the marking on the page hasn't dried yet that just makes your life 10 times easier so i definitely recommend doing that i think times like these is when people tend to use like the colorless blender or like they add it like underneath whatever area they're about to blend and then they like add the colors on top and i think the like principle of it is that the colorless blender ink stays like not like wet for a longer period of time so that makes it easier for them to blend in the other colors on top of it someone tell me if i'm wrong i don't actually know but i'm like, assuming that's what they use it for because it's like colorless and so like it won't cast any actual like i don't know like differences in terms of like the color that they're actually going to use but yeah after we finished with the hair, I ended up using like this sort of gray and black colored shade in her top or dress, I guess. And then I used some gray to shade in the pearls as well, like the skin color just to add that color in as like a bounce back sort of thing. And same for her earrings. And by the way, at the very end, you will see this design as well as the other OC. And I did actually go back in and add in some details with colored pencils because, I don't know, I've been getting into that combo recently of using like alcohol markers as a base and then colored pencils on top. I think it's like so much fun, um, especially because with colored pencils, I can go ham with my color theory knowledge and I'll just add in random colors and hopefully it looks good together. But now we are moving on to the next original character. Like I mentioned during the line art phase, this OC was sent to me by Olivia and this OC's name is Liv. And the only information that I have about her is that she is very hyper. And by the way, this is like her reference sheet. I'll just add it on screen. Um, as you can see, I did include like a little strawberry at the top, which I do color later because I thought that was a cute that was a cute touch. And according to Olivia, she is very hyper, and which I can definitely see from her picture. I think that the pose that Olivia drew her in was super cute. And she also loves strawberries, which is also another cute factor. Um, comment down below your favorite fruit, I guess, for this video. I don't know. I feel like I need to bring back like question of the day or something like that. I think I used to do that, um, but then I just forgot to add them into my videos. So comment down below your favorite fruit. If I remember, I'll add that as a pinned comment, but if I don't, you guys are the real ones for making it this far into the video. <laughs> So basically for this original character, I didn't do as much shading just because I was like kind of basing it off more of like the original reference in which like the entire vibe of it was more like pastel and like, I don't know, like more, I don't even know how to describe it, like bright, I guess. Uh, whereas for the other OC, she did include a lot of darker colors. So I decided to shade her skin with more shadows just to like emphasize that point a lot. Um, honestly, I have to say, I wish I colored her hair with a different color, this original character, because while it is like brown, I guess, and while all my like drawings are more saturated than the person who sent their like original character to me just because of our art styles, I feel like if I did use a lighter color as like a base, it would have been easier for me to do more shading with the hair. Um, but instead, I did do like a lot more shading when I went in with colored pencils, which by the way, I did do that off camera. <laughs> um, I hope that's okay but let me know if you guys want me to like do that on camera as well after that we are now shading in like the little choker design i feel like the only thing that i regret was not making it like a bit more like i don't know saturated pink i guess because i feel like it doesn't stand out that much from the skin but yeah and then we are going in and shading the eyes and by the way i love doing the style of eyes with like the little sparkles in their eyes that take up like the entire iris or pupil whatever it's called i don't know i think it's like a really cute design it reminds me a lot of what's her name sean ling from genshin impact i feel like she's done that facial expression before i don't know 
I have also been getting like some questions on whether or not I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour for the last sketchbook that I did, which is like a Canson one. And honestly, I'm like not sure because spoiler alert, your girl hasn't actually finished it yet. Um, there's like a couple pages left. Like I could finish it in like a day if I wanted to. Um, but I don't know. I feel like the beginning part of the sketchbook was like actually really nice. Like I really liked it. But after that, I kind of like got into art block, but also I like really had to draw. Um, and I don't know. I feel like I don't really love that sketchbook as much. I don't want to like show it if I'm not like that proud of it. So I feel like I probably won't do a sketchbook tour. Um, I might do one and just label it flop sketchbook tour or something. I don't even know. Um, let me know if you're interested in that though, because I feel like another reason why I would want to show is because a lot of people only show their good sketchbooks and i feel like we should normalize having bad sketchbooks or like sketches in your sketchbook i don't even know if that makes sense but yeah anyways now we are heading on to the end of the video and as i said earlier i did include all the colored pencil like details off camera but this is the final result i love how this one turned out i added some pink accents just to balance out the blue and this is the second original character i added a bunch of random colors in her hair i absolutely love both of these as always thank you guys so much for watching until the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye